Is your organization built properly for a distributed workforce? Before the coronavirus was even a blip on our radar, employees preached the benefits of working from home. Some workplaces started implementing remote work as an option, working with employees in neighboring cities, different time zones, and even across oceans. Since the pandemic began, however, many workplaces that were holding out on remote work have had to give in in order for their business to stay afloat. While some employees love working remotely, others place a high value on face-to-face -face interaction with their coworkers and clients. With some people heading back to the office, we can now enter into the distributed workforce movement. I'm Alex with Jotform, and in today's video, we'll discuss how your organization can effectively build a distributed workforce. Let's go. Working in an office can bring lots of perks, like being in a focused environment, having physical conference rooms to meet with fellow team members, water cooler chats, and happy hours at a favorite neighborhood spot. These are all workplace environment elements that remote workers miss out on. So in order to keep your company culture alive and all your employees, in person or remote, engaged, you have to use the right tools. Before COVID-19, we thought Zoom was a feature that our dads overused on video cameras in the 90s. But now we know it can be a video conferencing tool to millions, not only for important work meetings, but also 30th birthday celebrations, Passover, and baby showers. One tool that's super helpful in a distributed workforce is Donut. This tool solves two problems, how to have lunch with your coworkers and how to meet new people when employees aren't all in the same physical space. This is how Donut works. It pairs different employees together with a roulette style randomization algorithm. Then the paired up employees have a lunch or a coffee break together. Think of Donut as the virtual way to bump into employees in the workplace and strike up a conversation around the coffee machine. Another helpful tool is Slack. While this tool has been used by companies, organizations, and classrooms for a while now, it's never too late to join in on a good thing. This chat client facilitates knowledge sharing through its unique design and usability. Now that you have the right tools integrated into your workplace, you'll want to continue transparency in order to keep a distributed workforce engaged. Transparency is a corporate value many employees find attractive. They want to know about onboarding, promotions, work policies, and what's to come in the sales pipeline. Keeping your employees in the loop is so important. One simple way to do this is to hold all hands on deck meetings with a virtual component so both in-office employees and remote workers can join. Video conferences will beat audio calls any day of the week. Being able to see and hear managers and employees is a big proponent of feeling in the loop. You can also boost inclusivity with Slack and Microsoft Teams as these programs keep all employees equally informed regardless of location. Transparency in the workplace becomes crucial if you're pivoting your company workflow in any major way. Keeping your employees in the loop throughout the process gives them the trust they need to keep doing a great job. The next step in creating a well-functioning distributed workforce is to take a personal approach with your remote workers. Try implementing consistent virtual check-ins, not just on work performance, but on your employees' individual lives. Lean on tools like Slack, Teams, and Donut to boost your remote employees' morale and let them know they're not lost in a void separate from the office. By taking a more personal look into your employees' lives, you can better see what's causing employees' performance to slip. From there, you can troubleshoot with your employee to boost their performance back up. The last step is to keep your work meaningful and safe. No matter what type of company you run or what type of work your employees perform, they want these two things, to know that their work holds value and to be able to pursue their work without fear of negative consequences. This goes hand in hand with keeping open transparency with your employees, but regularly checking in with your team stops your employees from feeling in the dark. Regular engagement allows you to troubleshoot as a team and constructively correct mistakes instead of making matters worse. Your employees want to feel valued and protected rather than exposed and vulnerable. It's your job to make sure this happens. Keep a positive, engaging, and transparent attitude and your distributed workforce will continue to thrive. Remember, you want to engage with your employees regularly, but don't turn into a 24-7 surveillance state. Combine these technology-driven and empathetic strategies so you can successfully navigate your new distributed workforce. Let's review. To effectively create a distributed workforce, just follow these steps. First, get your hands on the right tools. 
then continue transparency as you navigate your new workforce dynamic. Next, implement a personal touch with all of your employees. And last, keep your work meaningful and safe for all. Thanks for watching JotForm. I'm Alex, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.